JobOppo describe themselves as an employment community, connecting experienced veterans with employers who appreciate and value the skills, knowledge and attitude of those who have served and the benefit they can bring to organisations. Founded by ex-military to serve ex-military, they endeavour also to build veteran confidence through offering structured support and educating companies on the qualities their members bring to the table, which bridges a vital gap between the armed forces and new business opportunities. We spoke to Gareth Williams about the organisation, the suitability of military skills for FM and their event with us at the end of October. Why was JobOppo founded and how has it developed since it began? Yeah, JobOppo was founded by um, a guy called Kaya Mikbal, who is an RAF veteran um, who served uh, for quite some time himself uh, in the RAF, um, but struggled when leaving the RAF um, to find the right support that he needed, to find the right advice and guidance that he needed to move into a new job. Um, and being the kind of guy he is, he thought, well, if I'm struggling, then other people are struggling, so I'm going to try and do something about that. So um, effectively, he found uh, a job oppo um, to, to try and help individuals with that transition from the military to, uh, to civilian life. Um, late last year, we had a fairly, fairly significant um, input of finances, um, of people, um, and it's a bit of a change of direction. Um, I jumped on board and joined myself as a director of veteran engagement last January. Um, we've had a couple of other people come on board over the course of the year. We've invested, as I say, invested heavily into technology. Um, we've built a, a, a good platform. We've built, we're building and about to launch a good app-based community platform that will help um, allow people to help themselves and allow people to help other people. Um, so that, that's great. So a lot of what we're doing is working with um, educating veterans about the types of jobs and the types of organizations and the types of sectors that are out there, FM clearly being, you know, being near the top of, or maybe at the top of our list. Um, but also educating employers about the skills, the attitude, the knowledge and the experience that a veteran can bring to their organization, even though they might look, feel, taste, smell, speak a bit differently, they can still and do add a lot of value and pick up the ball and really run with it. How does your membership scheme work and what do you offer subscribers? Um, our business model is, is very simple. Um, as I said, there are two halves of the business. We look after veterans and service leavers. And every element of support that we offer them is completely free. Um, so they can, um, they register, they meet like-minded people, they can enroll in our employability skills development series. So they learn about CVs, interview techniques, LinkedIn profiles, how to network uh, and the like. They get access to our jobs board where they'll see um, jobs that are exclusively being placed there for veterans and service leavers. Um, so that's that half of the business. The other half of the business are our clients and they are the, the individuals or organizations that advertise their jobs. Now they pay um, an, an annual membership and a tiered membership and they, they are allowed different levels of service um, depending on, on, on the, the, the tier membership they select. But effectively that allows them to advertise their roles. It allows them to um, have a microsite on our site that demonstrates their support to the military community tells them a bit more about the types of jobs, the types of organizations, the types of people they're looking for, why that organization is a good, good organization to work for. Um, so, and, and, and we very much sit in the middle. So we'll introduce, sounds a bit cheesy, but introduce good people to good organizations. And that's, that's sort of the, the model that we've created, which is quite unique and quite bespoke. Um, we don't take a fee for placing someone in a 90 grand job. That's better for us than a nine grand a year job. You know, we're about getting people into employment that's at the right level um, and in and, and the right way for themselves. Why is the FM industry ideal for those with experience in the military? I think for us, uh, and, and the longer that, that our organisations have been talking to each other over the last few months in terms of our partnership, the more I've really seen FM as a fantastic fit. And pr predominantly because, like the military, they are, you know the sector offers a massive breadth and depth of, of roles. Um, Yes, the military produces people that stand on, on a gate and stand to attention and look smart and turn up on time and all the other sort of cliches that, 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 that are out there. But also the military produces engineers, it produces chefs, it produces security consultants, you know, all, all sorts of individuals that, that can really fit into an FM organisation. And I think the other aspect of why I think it's a good fit is because the, all the individuals and organisations I've met with over the last six months or so, um, appear to have a very similar value set and very similar mindset. Um, they've got a job to do, 
they want their people to be happy they want their people to, to want to go to work every day and very much you know provide that sense of purpose and the biggest thing that people often find they miss and lose when they leave the military is that sense of purpose that why they get out of bed in the morning yes they've got to pay the mortgage and yes they've got to do x and y but actually they want to find a job and an organization that gives them that sense of purpose again um, and i think that there are many fm organizations out there who recognize that and want people like that and there are a growing number of veterans who are learning more about fm and i guess this is you know part parcel of what we're trying to do how do you support the wider community through the oppo foundation so yeah, the OPPO, the OPPO Foundation, um, as you say, are our charity partner. Um, Job OPPO donates 10% of our revenue uh, to the OPPO Foundation um, and the board of the OPPO Foundation then just determine where those funds are allocated. Um, nine times out of 10, in fact, 10, 10 times out of 10, those funds are allocated to veterans or small veteran groups who, who are in need. Um, late last year, for example, um, a donation was made to provide a number of veterans in the Northwest new boilers in their properties because they struggled. Um, we've worked with individuals to get them new wheelchairs so they could train and prepare themselves for the Paralympics. In fact, there's a chap called Stu Robinson, who's an RAF um, veteran who uh, is a double amputee um, and recently won a gold medal at the Paralympics. Um, and he was, uh, the, the funds that were donated by us allowed him to buy himself a new wheelchair. So some great stories. And from a client perspective, these stories are quite tangible. Um, you know, we like to make sure that our clients understand actually where where their impact is. And that's that's a good feel all round, really. What is the Journey into FM event? Um, on the 28th of October, we're running a or co-hosting an event with This Week in FM at the Churchill War Rooms in London. The purpose of that event really is to bring together veterans and service leavers who want to learn and, and understand a bit more about the FM sector and vice versa. So there'll be employers there, there'll be organisations there who either want to recruit more or want to learn a bit more about who these people are and what they can offer. Um, so we'll, we'll, there's a couple of speakers, a couple of talkers, a bit of engagement, um, uh, a bit of networking um, and a beer afterwards um, in a great venue um, in, on the afternoon, the 28th. So it'd be magic to see you know as many people there as we can. Um, one, because it's a live event with real life human beings. Two, because you know it'll allow us to, to make sure people are more aware of what we, Joboppo, are, are trying to achieve and the relationship we, you know, we, we've got with FM. And as I say, three, that it's, it's, it's a great venue. And if you get there early, you can have a, a free look round the Churchill War Rooms in London.